<laughs> yeah, it's the most important lesson and you didn't learn to this point, huh? <laughs> This was terrible. You only really have one thing to do, and that's pull that little orange handle to release your parachute. And on the first one, you practice it three times, plus you do it the fourth time for real. Okay. I missed it all four <laughs> times. This was this was my only task to do on this jump. And why it happened like that? What's the problem? Well, I'll, I'll give you a few reasons. The first one is because uh, sometimes people are too muscular, right? Mm -hmm. Not my problem. <laughs> you know, if you spend a lot of time in the gym, your flexibility goes away and you can't reach all the way back. So I can't blame that one. The second one is you're just falling through the air and you really don't have the experience. Your muscle memory is not there to remember how to get back there. I can kind of claim that one uh, a, t a tiny little bit. The other thing is it's uh, not where I thought it should have been. I, for me, I would have liked it to be on my hip where I was reaching. Okay. <laughs> because that would be the most logical place for me, but you don't want it in a place that can get caught on things. So it's kind of underneath and really behind your 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 parachute. It's kind of hidden, like on purpose, right? It is, so it doesn't get caught on things. Oh, makes sense. But the thing that I'm going to blame it on the most, and this wasn't explained at all in the season. Oh, it's a secret too. So. It's a secret that I actually did this with a recently broken arm. <laughs> That's true. Look at this. Look at this scar. Oh my God. So I had broken my arm in Mexico a few months before I had started this and I was still in physiotherapy to try to get the mobility back in my arm. So most people don't skydive with a broken arm or don't yeah. try to learn to skydive with a broken arm. I think it's a very good tip. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great tip. But for me, I, I still felt like I could do it. I didn't know about this reaching way back to pull the thing. <laughs> Um, and you actually sign some forms that say, you know, hey, you're in physical condition. And I was in good physical condition. It was just a little bit of a stretch to reach back and be able to pull that with this broken uh, radial head fracture that I had from a few months before. So I'm blaming it on that and not necessarily the lack of experience. Okay, okay, I will take this. <laughs> but you'll see in future episodes or the other episodes that I was actually able to work that out and be able to get it on a whole bunch of occasions. But on this first one... <laughs> oh, actually, that's why he's here, because if you don't do it and if you don't reach the corner, really it's a problem. <laughs> I think you would not be here to tell this story. So that's the reason, <laughs> that's the reason I'm going with. That's maybe a problem that you wouldn't have if you gave this a chance yourself. We just finished bonus material. We had a great time reviewing some of the videos, but if you want to watch the original video, go here. And if you want to watch the whole story and know everything about it, go here. Do you know what would help? Subscribe. Like. Share. And comment in the comment section below. See you next week.